Hello friends, welcome to my next presentation on data integrity principles. Yes, it's uh, it's about Alcoa Plus. Before going towards main presentation, I would request you all to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. So what mean Alcoa? It's mean attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, accurate. And this plus denote for complete, consistent, enduring, available. Going forward, I may not read my entire slide because this topic is very popular and we know number of guidance from WHO, PICS, MHRA, FDA are available. In our short discussion video, I would like to touch of some practical issues and try to correlate with them. Thank you. So our first topic is attributable. What does it mean attributable? Means to identify who has done the activity. Correct. It can be a documented manner. It can be a electronic manner. Whenever you perform any activity, so what you do, you do a done by sign, then someone who has checked the document, they sign checked by or verified by. These are the signatures denotes that who has done the activity and who are present at the time on the floor. Similarly, for an electronic system, when you give your password and user ID in any system, that is attributable that who has run the machine at that time. Suppose you can think that your shift is going to end and you are in hurry and you are leaving your shop floor and you forgot to sign in your document. So you have seen your friend and you told, Hello, can you sign on my behalf? I just missed to sign. So, this is an issue which cannot follow this attributable laws. Your friend cannot sign on your behalf. Similarly, when you use a common password or a share password, a common password or share password does not able to carry the information who has run the machine because multiple people using the similar password. It can be a technical issue or it can be a known issue. If it is a technical issue, you should rectify and talk with your engineers and you can upgrade your system where your system can able to capture individual user ID and access. My next topic is legible. Correct. Whatever the documentation you perform, you should ensure that the way you write the way you represent the data, it should to be legible enough. Remember, what you write, what you represent, tomorrow someone is going to review. He, he may be a, your internal person, he required as a part of quality trained, as a part of uh, inspection or it may be a regulatory who is going to review your data. So it's very important how you write and how you represent that should to be legible enough. So here I am not only talking about handwritten, it may be applicable for certain printout you took from a machine and you think if the machine ink level is low, your printout is not legible. So that can be issue which cannot follow this principle. 
so you should ensure your printer cartridge is full or you can reprint again and you can keep both the copies with your document. Next point of discussion is contemporaneous. This is the evidence of actions that shows that you have documented the activity on the current timing. Suppose I will give an example. After doing the activity, your friend is calling, Hi, can you, can we join for a canting? And you have not entered the data in the logbook and you joined your friends at canteen. And when you come back, you enter the data after the lunch. Sometime, you know, happen, you need to take certain decision based on the outcome you got during this actual, when the actual event is occurred. Certain decision, certain influence that matters, when does it happen? If you not capture the data contemporaneously, you cannot able to identify when the failure happened, whether the failure is happened at that time, whether you have skipped certain things. So it's, it will be very difficult. So the contemporaneous means you should give your decision, your actions at the time only when the data or the event has been generated. Don't give or don't do significant delay to record or to capture any event. Next point we'll discuss original. The original record can be described as the first capture of information, whether recorded on a paper, static, or electronically, dynamic, based on the complexity of the system. Information that is originally captured in a dynamic state should to be remain available in that state. For example, you have a machine for weighing, you got a printout slip, now you have transcribed in your logbook and you lost that printed sheet. So this does not follow the rules of original because your printed sheet is the original where your data is first time captured, your transcription cannot be considered as original. Similarly, sometime in the shop floor, we use blank sheets apart from your batch record or testing record and we record on that blank sheet or piece of paper and you lost that paper sometime, so you lost the value. Suppose if you not lost the paper, you are trying to transcribe from the paper to original document. That also not applicable. Sometime happened, we write something on our, some data, some analytical data on our gloves or apron and we put for washing and we discard the gloves. Again, that is not follow the rule of original. Whenever you have captured the data first time, that should to be kept with the document. Now, if you write something in your hand, obviously your hand needs to be cut and attached in the document. Joke apart. But I'm talking about where it's supposed to be written, how it should to be kept, you should follow the policy. You should not write or document anything in an unauthenticated or non-GMP procedure should not followed. Next is accurate. It is very critical and it is very important whenever you are entering any data, it's important that it should to be accurate and, and parallelly the data you are recording from a device it should give the accurate reading. 
so it's it's depend upon the qualifications calibrations maintenance or validation of the system so something is happened you are not capturing the accurate data or sometimes it can be happened you are not getting the accurate data so control is very necessary here to get the accurate data it may be required certain deviation management or certain investigation on incident to clarify all those issue suppose you have done a round of when whenever you are recording a data from a weighing machine you should trained enough and you should know which are the occasions you should follow the round of rules and what your procedure says it may happen you are preparing a chemicals if you don't follow the accurate weighing instructed in a document you can have a faulty chemical analysis so that is the important of accuracy so that's why it is called accurate the next one is complete it is very important whenever you are recording any informations it should to be complete you have a document and that it to be filled 10 sections each and every 10 section should to be filled accurately and that should to be complete any missing informations or unfilled data can be cause for different kind of malfunctioning or process error or it may happen you sometime not able to take decisions due to this missing information sometime one more example came into my mind i will show you during audit number of document we handle and we took from the quality assurance department it's very important whenever you are returning the document that should to be verified for the pages what they have issued and they have written if you lose any pages data sheet or evidence then again that is a case where your document is not complete next one is consistent for consistent you should practice a good documentation practice you should trained enough whenever you documented your document should not impact by your emotions by your happiness or any anything else good documentation practice should to be applied throughout any process without exception including deviations that may occur during the process that sh you should document correctly this includes capture all the changes made in the data next is enduring enduring means your document should to be there for a longer durations till as as per the, the document retention policy record must keep in a manner such they exist for the entire period during which they might be needed that means they need to remain intact and accessible as a durable record throughout the record retention period and we can see how this document is there and you know the your document should to be should not to be in catch in fire insect or any kind of liquid or solvent it should to be protected well it should to be stored in a manner it should not damage on 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 his on its retention period next one is available you followed everything you followed all the laws all the rules of good documentation practice 
everything is intact your document is very nice you have kept in very good conditions but you should remember it should to be available it should not like that you you kept everything in a very good manner but you cannot able to recover you cannot able to retrieve during your inspection or or maybe during a investigation you need to review couple of um, batch records or you need for a apqr preparations for a trending for a annual report it's very important your document should to be available you can you can have a 483 or warning letter you cannot if you not able to provide a requested document by your auditor so these are the all attributes from alcoa plus pro perspective i have discussed with my practical example to know more you can read the guidance available with fda mhra tga who they are fairly written in detail thank you very much we'll see you in our next presentation with a new topic